Wow, that's pretty fucked. Hello guys, Alex Fedotov here. So today I wanna talk about why dropshipping that and I wanna show you the proof that dropshipping is dying and I wanna show you the things that you can do to adjust to survive and thrive in a new in a new environment with new like rising advertising costs with you know having like iOS 15 16 like all of these other things I want to show you exactly how to navigate through all of that and how to scale your business and how to scale a profitable e-commerce brand so guys before we get started uh, please uh, click the like button and subscribe to my channel it means a lot to me I'm putting a lot of effort into this video so I'd appreciate it a lot just hit the like and subscribe button and we can get started Let's say 2018, 2019. Um, we've done a lot of volume with with e-commerce, with drop shipping, with very like regular, like primitive model. Facebook didn't have the page feedback score. Uh, you know, obviously you could you could lose the ad accounts, but I mean that was like a wild, wild west. If you want to advertise, you want to sell stuff uh, here with like basically drop shipping from China. Here is who you're competing with. 1,000 plus new items launch every day. Like this is a billion dollar company advertising on Facebook. So if you're trying to kind of like sell stuff or you're trying to beat on price, you're trying to be in that like lowest price category on Facebook, um, kind of like go after mass market, here's who you compete with. You compete with a company that has very massive scale. They have very like operational like efficiency. They must have because you know, if they're processing, let's say, 100,000 orders per day, right, they have the operational efficiency, they have the volumes, they have negotiated the terms or they're sourcing directly from factories. So there's no way that you can compete with them. At the same time, if you start thinking, oh, you're full of shit. let's see from this side, wish.com, right, which was, it was the biggest advertiser on Facebook. But like now you can see they only have 190 ads. Okay, so what is off here, right? It's either they're like out of funding, right? Or maybe they found another like advertising advertising channel that they're advertising on. So this kind of like model where, oh, wow, that's pretty fucked. Let's see how, how this traffic looks like. Maybe they're very successful still, right? Boom. No, it doesn't look like, right? So something happened here. Maybe they run out of money, right? Maybe the model doesn't work. Maybe the model is not efficient anymore, right? Shine is still making it work. Shine is like, is growing rapidly. Maybe they have like a bunch of, I mean, still like 54 million users, right? It's still a lot. I mean, it's it's not a small business, but I mean, something happened here that they're not, I mean, I remember it was one of the best, like one of the highest ranked like apps. Um, I don't think it is anymore, right? So Shine, let's say on Shine. How's their traffic look like? So let's see here. I mean, this one is pretty consistent. This one is strong. This one is strong. Wow, this one is like probably like three times as big as um, as Wish. I mean, Wish might be used like uh, might be using more of their app. I mean, nevertheless, both are like nine figure, ten figure businesses. So that's fine. But now, do you want to compete with these businesses? Probably you don't. If you have some common sense, if you have some logic, probably you don't want to be competing with these guys. So you want to be, and I want to show you the paradigm. And the kind of direction that we're going with, with our business as well, I, I call this the Facebook engineers like paradigm, right? So let's say you're operating drop shipping business, your shipping times are bad, your product quality is like bad garbage sometimes. So what happens? Your feedback score goes down, right? Your ad account goes down, your business manager goes go down. Now we have solutions for all those, how to avoid it, how to play with it, but we are getting out of it. Why? Because you want to fight with Facebook engineers. Do you want to fight with like people graduated like Stanford and like computer engineers and trying to like identify the drop shippers and creating like bad user experience for people on Facebook? Do you want to fight with those type of people? Do you want to fight with hundreds of those people? Do you want to fight with like thousands of those people? Absolutely not, right? Like, because I mean, that, that battle is just like, they'll catch you, right? Like, I mean, you might make like a few dollars, you might make, make, make like few hundred thousand dollars, you might make like few millions, but eventually they'll catch you. So you don't want to be in that in that game. Now, payment processors nightmare. Like what's like ever happened to you? Maybe like drop a comment, drop a comment. If you ever been shut down by PayPal, if you ever had a hold on PayPal, if you ever had a uh, reserve on PayPal, if you ever had hold on uh, on Stripe, drop it below in the comments, guys, because that happened to everyone. 
that happened to everyone like at, at some point if, if they've been drop shipping they probably have higher chargeback ratio then one day one morning stripe sends you an email hey we don't want to be working with you anymore let me show you actually <laughs> let me show you hey guys uh, people have been asking me how we scale to multiple six figures or even seven figures per month without getting shut down on Facebook and we have a very sophisticated solution for this that I want to share with you but it's, it's just like too valuable to give away for free so if you guys want this solution just book a call with one of my team members and we'll show you exactly what it is and how it works and we'll see if that's a good fit uh, for you and for your business so just book a call with my team member we'll share it with you so you can scale your business to multiple six figures or even seven figures per month without getting shut down on Facebook without having inconsistency and with high profitability so just book a call with my team and I'll see you there so you can see here like this is this is 2018 right we just started uh, one of our projects uh, we registered we had a company in Singapore at that point and we had a Stripe account associated with one of the companies. And so you can see here, the Stripe shut down our account, shut down completely. And we had like hundred, like hundred fifty or two hundred thousand dollars in that account because we had the seven day payout time, right? So we've been doing like twenty, thirty thousand dollars a day. And so we've had like you know pretty much like two hundred thousand dollars in there on hold. And they locked that money for like ninety days. You can see 90 days here. That's the exact email that they, that they sent me. Last three years, I mean, all of these processors obviously got burnt with a lot of drop shippers because some of drop shippers, I mean, they, let's say they drive volume, they drive sales, and then they extract money from their account and then they never ship the orders, right? So there've been a lot of like bad players in the market. Now, all of this kind of like accumulates, accumulates, accumulates. And what happens is it becomes a payment processors nightmare if your chargeback ratios are higher, if you're, uh, let's say, if they see that you're shipping from China and it takes like three, four weeks to get your item delivered, they absolutely don't like it. If you start thinking about like, okay, so that is a business, I mean, it's high risk, I mean, you may you might make a few dollars, which is good. I mean, you might use it like that drop shipping model, like shipping from China, and not ideal customers, but just to accumulate some capital. If you wanna do that, great. But if you already have some capital, why would you do that game? Like, why would you play the game that you cannot win, right? Like, so you wanna play the game that you can win. If, if there was like a boxer on the street, like, and you know, like he's like professional boxer and you come to him and like, you try to punch him, right? That would be stupid, right? Because that's not the game you can win, right? So you don't wanna be playing games that you cannot win. So why would you play it with your dropshipping business, right? Long term. Now, short term again, you wanna make a few dollars, awesome, do it. You need help with that, like book a call with our team, we'll see how we can help you out. There's a link in the description. Um, but I mean, that is not where like, if you want your business to evolve like next year, year after that, you wanna sell your business eventually, build something that you're proud of, that's not something you wanna do. Now, typical dropshipping model. Okay, so we build like one product store, we use Facebook ads, and then we scale the, the shit out of it. Okay, so that's good. But at the same time, like how sustainable is that? And what are the chances, right? So you have like one channel, right? Facebook increases CPM, higher competition. You have 20 other people selling exactly the same product. How cool is that, right? So that model like of single like product you sell, you can still make money with it. You can still be profitable with it. But again, long term, it is not, it, it is not sustainable so what you want to do is you want to evolve right you want to add some more traffic channels right you want to add some more products some more SKUs, right so you diversify so it's not only one product that if it stops selling or it doesn't sell as well or it's seasonal then you lose all of your sales so now you want to kind of like start building in other directions not just in one not just like relying on facebook ads and and hoping that it will work right we've done that for like for years we've done very well with it but now as, as we see like the market is evolving, we don't wanna be doing that anymore because we see that again, that's not the game that we can win. And this dropshipping type of dropshipping is dying because when I'm, when I'm saying dropshipping business, I mean low quality shipping from China dropshipping business, that kind of like dropshipping business you wanna avoid. Now this is good dropshipping business called Wayfair, which does, let me show you guys, $14 billion in sales. I mean, a bit of change, right? So, so some um, small business, that you can be probably proud of, right? Like, so this is dropshipping business. Now, they dropship all of these from their suppliers. Wayfair operates on a dropship model, so we send uh, the customer order to your warehouse and you pick 
uh, pack and prepare to send the product directly to the end consumer. Wayfair arranges and pays for 100% of the ship cost. That's beautiful. That's beautiful model, right? But how, okay, so now to organize this type of business with like thousands and thousands and thousands of SKUs, let's just choose one of them here. Now, this is not easy business to operate, obviously, right? Just, just to jumpstart this business, you, you would need developers, you would need to integrate all of these um, partners through APIs and to make sure that all of these orders are getting fulfilled. This is quite a complex business, but this is ty different type of dropshipping. Right. Even like wish.com is dropshipping in a way because it's, it's dropshipping directly from the manufacturers. Right. But the type of dropshipping where you want to do it on a small scale with no operational efficiencies is not simply not sustainable. Right. So if you want to continue to do that again, feel free, but you will probably get your face punched many times and it will get become harder and harder and harder. So what I want to do is, okay, so how can I brand the product? Maybe how can I increase the quality of the product? How can I bring the product in bulk to the warehouse in the United States and then fulfill it from there? And how that I can expand with those products through different like traffic channels. So then on the fulfillment side, on the back end, I mean, customers are happy. Customers, uh, you know, have there is like repeat purchase of repeat purchase orders because they are coming back and buying because they had good experience. And at the same time, you're building the brand eventually that kind of like over time it builds up, not with drop shipping where, I mean, I, I know how it is because pretty much you're hiding like the names of your brand because you don't want like 20 other people to jump on the same products, right? You don't want that. If you're running drop shipping stuff, like you don't want to do that. So the, the way to do that is, is basically evolve, right? And so identify maybe some products that you're already selling, maybe have some momentum. Maybe you can create a better version of that product. Maybe create a better variation of that product. Maybe like spend some money on branding, on, on just like different packaging, better packaging, so that you can create something that is more sustainable, so you don't get shut down every time on Facebook, right? Invest into content creation, right? Invest in some photo shoots and some models. So you build something that is more sustainable. And at the same time, make sure that shipping, uh, shipping times are not horrible. Like notify your customers about shipping times. You can still do very well with like 10, 12 times, uh, like 10, 12 days shipping from China. You can still do very well with that. Focus on what's, what has the biggest impact. Product packaging, right? Talk to your supplier. If you need supplier, if you need good agents, just let me know agents, comment agent below so I can share our suppliers with you, which are amazing, which we've worked for like several years now that we processed, you know, millions and millions of dollars worth of orders with them. I want to connect mastermind and network with six, seven, eight figure entrepreneurs. Join our free community on Facebook, which is called Brand Hyper Growth. It's for only entrepreneurs who are already doing at least $30,000 or more in sales per month and want to go to seven, eight figures. So you can connect, you can network, you can mastermind, you can sh exchange insights and value with these guys and take your business to the next level. So there should be a link in the description. Make sure you join today. So how to scale to eight figures. So if you start thinking about that, all right, so if you have something that can be branded, maybe you make some few adjustments on that side, right? Lower your return ratio, lower your chargeback ratio, so you don't have uh, those issues on the uh, payment processor. See how you can improve the product quality, shipping um, time, so at least you notify your customers. At least you're transparent with them, like, okay, so it will take like 10, 15 days to arrive. If you're not okay with that, let me just like cancel the order and refund it. So kind of like set those expectations so everyone is on the same page, and when they get the product, give them something for free for that waiting longer waiting time. Give them the custom insert. Give them the free something. Give them the free like little gift for them to wait, right? Make it like nice surprise for that. And if you start thinking from that, now you, you're on a path like to, to do like eight figures because now you're not fighting with all of this. Now you're not fighting the giants. Now you're not fighting, fighting the Facebook engineers like with $200,000 a year salaries. Like now you're not fighting the payment processors. Now you're not just fighting like the Facebook only, right? Like, because now you have like other channels that you diversified. So if you start thinking from that perspective, drop shipping is amazing business model still. I mean, you can still fulfill from China, but I mean, I would recommend for, especially for Q4, for you to have, you know, some products in stock. That's the best way to do it. Let's say, you know, some products sell, just buy 10,000 units, 1,000 units, 10,000 units, have them in stock in warehouse in China. If you have a good agent, if you don't have, just comment agents below and then ship it from their warehouses directly to your consumers. So if you do that, 
you will do extremely well and you will build something like within like six months, you'll start building the momentum. You'll start building, um, you know, kind of like, something that can be scaled, something that is not so dependable on you, uh, just like sitting behind your ads every day and trying to kind of like win these battles that you cannot win anyway. So guys, um, hope you like this video. Hope you took some lessons from it. I want to see you actually implementing some of these insights, it's kind of like evolving. Let me know what you think in the comments because it's, it boggles me like so many people, like very smart entrepreneurs are still stuck with that model. And I don't want that to happen. If you start on that path, let me know how it goes. And hopefully, hopefully this video will get you on that path. So guys, let me know what you think in the comments. Like this video, subscribe. If you don't like, if you don't subscribe, I'll be very sad, right? Like just make sure you like and subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments, guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.